Let me go. Bay in here whipping it up one time. Nigga hungry. Let's see what she got going on in here in the kitchen. Going in yeah. the kitchen. What you in there whipping up? Tilapia and fries. Oh, you get your tilapia and fries, but the game on right quick though. <laughs> Check out that skull. Alright, I see that. See what we got going on in here in the kitchen. Hey guys. Man, she took it. White ass. What kind of pants you got on? The same pants as you. Oh, damn. You so do. Oh, what we got over here? Um, doing fried tilapia. And I'm going to cut up some potatoes. And Good, because I don't feel like cutting up nothing. But you're going to peel them, though. You no, know, skinny yeah, people can't cook. That's why I got you. You know, you <laughs> good and juicy. <laughs> so, first. You want to put your fish fry on there? I use Zatarin's crispy southern with the Z real lemon added. Zatarin's. Yeah, Zatarin's. <laughs> I like to put lemon juice on top of mine. Lemon juice. Too. So let, me, let me test it out. Let me get a little sample. Okay. Okay, y'all can see that. All right, we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, so first, we're going to put your fish fry on there. Also, I already washed my hands because that's like the most important part. I hope so. To cook it. To cook it. What you doing with that thing? Oh, yeah. This type of tilapia I use from okay. Walmart. Great value. Oh, Bowless, skinless tilapia. Oh, they ain't got that at Piggly Wiggly? It's like $4 for like a small pack. Oh, wow. No, they don't got that at Where the fish at? What, you just bought an empty bag? What'd you do with the fish? It's oh, in a bowl. Damn. Then, what you got here? Uh, you seasoning that bad boy? Well, the Zatarans already come seasoned. Oh, okay. The most I add to it is probably like seasoning salt, mm -hmm. but not too much because you don't want your fish to be salty. And then you already add the lemon juice. Can I whip it up one time? Let me. You, yeah, you think I would mess it up? No, I think it'd be alright. Alright, let me try this out. Can you get me doing it, honey? Okay. You know that. Why you holding it like that? I got it. Oh, like I ain't never did that before. You have it. How y'all girls be? You? <laughs> Let me get this right quick for my baby. Yeah, it ain't coming out. That good right there? Let me see. Okay, I got like the little edges. Mm -hmm. Gotta hit them cones one time. Because you still gotta put it in there. Boy, this shit is And you know what else you can do? Shit. You know what else you can do? What else you, you can, can do? You can put some grease. Let me see. We're just gonna edit out the change over. Okay, you put some grease in that pan over there. In the skillet. Yeah. Yeah, just like enough to cover the bottom. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. I'm oh, trying okay. to make sure the viewers hear me. Oh, the viewers that we don't have. You see that cover the bottom? Mm-hmm. All right, it covered. No, all the the whole bottom. See, so you just wish. No, it around like you that. gotta have it to a level. It is level. Camera. <laughs> Mm. No, like? some more. Dang. He don't know no better, y'all. Be I'm trying to teach. Grease. What about that? No, some more. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's past Let's start level. the high. Start the eye on high. <laughs> oh, okay, so you got some weed. <laughs> Start the hour high. Right, Front. Oh, okay, high. gotcha. Mm. There we go. Okay. What we got next? I'm supposed to be filming you. Okay, you the chef. Me. Okay. So after I put the um fish fry on the tilapia, I just add a little bit of seasoning salt. Just a little. Just like the dash. Cause 
because you don't want your stuff salty. Okay, guys, now we're going to put the tilapia into the hot grease. Now, when you fry your tilapia, you want to have your eye on like medium heat, like six or seven. You don't want your grease too hot or it's going to burn the fish because it don't take that long to fry fish. So basically, I need to step back so I don't get popped. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe. Because you know how black folks, you just throw it in there and jump back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. You want to hear that sound? What sound that is? Like a static TV? Oh, uh, I hear the AC. That's all I hear. <laughs> <laughs> and if you got your grease high enough, you'll also see it start to float like when it's close to being done. Like uh, Pennywise? So, I normally put like three in in the size of this pan because my boyfriend eats three. So, I want to go ahead and get his out the way. Now, you know I eat four. <laughs> so. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear that sizzling sound you were talking about. That man is cooking. Yep. Oh. You're going to be looking for like a golden brownish color. Now, while that's starting, I always start to do my potatoes. I'm going to rinse my hands off because I don't have my hands smell like feet. Okay, so I have a bowl of water, typically cold, warm, whatever you prefer. But that's what I put the potatoes in after I cut them because they are made of starch and it starts to turn colors. So the best way to cut potatoes, I found out, is to invest in one of these. And what is that? A pillar. I thought, it was, I thought it was a back scratcher. So. <laughs> so you peel your potatoes. I have this kind. You can use this kind. Oh, you moved too fast. I oh. prefer. I prefer this kind. All right, what's the other one you had? The other one is kind of like this. I think this was a little bit harder to use. They're like a nut tickler. See, I don't, I don't, I, I just prefer the other one. I feel like it's easier to handle. Well, but it's a pillar. It's a lot easier to peel potatoes with instead of using a knife. Plus, using a knife is a lot more dangerous. Because I done cut myself a couple of times peeling potatoes with a knife. Mm. So, with this, you got a safe lard on it and all that. Even though it's still sharp, you can still get your hands out the way. So it's so easy that I can, I need to be doing this. Yeah, this is what I would recommend you use all the time. I just go to McDonald's and get a uh, fish filet. You don't got no sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you don't think I could do it? You don't think I could peel one of them things? Not with no knife. No, you don't think I could use that? I know you can feel it with this. Oh, I was going to say, hope. let me hop down there and show you how, how you make it work. Once your potatoes peel, you can put it in a bowl of water. Oh, it ain't level. You got to level it out. No, not necessarily. But I always put it in there before I start cutting. And then once I start cutting the french fries, I put the fries back in the water mm -hmm. and then I let them dry out. So when you put them in some grease, you won't get popped in your eye. Damn, you look good while you cook. Thank you. They got that Kool-Aid smile. Cause I enjoy your compliments. My comfort first. Compliments, <laughs> baby. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Why she peeling that over One there? Second. Yeah, we're gonna edit that little part because she just can fuck me up. All right. <laughs> you can get me over here to go in. I'm, I'm still recording. We just gonna go back and edit it out. Okay. So now that your fish is starting to semi float, mm -hmm. you can grab your tongs, which is the easiest thing to use when doing these, and you'll flip them. Cause you don't want one side sticking to the pan and peeling your good crispy skin off. Ooh, that look good. Why are those called tongs? I don't know. 
I have to look that up. That's a good question. Mm. Let me know in the comment section why they call me so. <laughs> 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 what you laughing for? <laughs> What you laughing for? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comment section why they call these. <laughs> <laughs> what you still laughing for? What? All right, I'll stop playing. <laughs> I get for real. Why you doing your thing? You do me like that. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. You got it? I ain't gonna mess up your cooking. Mm -mm. Anyways. That was a good laugh. Oh, I'm still recording. I know. You ain't even gonna edit it out. <laughs> what you gotta move to next? You're gonna let that finish? I'm gonna let that finish. About two more minutes. Okay, that's what it probably be looking like. Mm hmm. Cause it'll be like all white on the inside and it'll be soft. So. Cameron wants to try to peel one of these potatoes. Go ahead. He think he can peel the potato. Go ahead. Oh, you recording? <laughs> you been recording all the time? Oh, start over. Nah, get ready. You want me to record? I mean, that. You want to get that? You want me to peel it? Yes. All right. What you want to do is you want to get that bad boy lined up straight. If you ain't holding your tongue right there, you ain't cutting right there. Hold on. Mm. Oh shit. Hold on. Get that out. All right. Mm. I'm doing it right. <laughs> yeah. You're attempting to do it right. That ain't, I ain't doing it right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. See? You know. Okay, guys. While he peels this potato for the next two hours. Two hours? I'm about halfway done already. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Yeah. I think the fish over there. I'm going to flip that fish. Yeah, you do that. So, back over here while he takes his precious time. Right we're gonna check on it. Make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pan because like I said, you want to keep that skin on there and you want to keep it nice and crispy. Put it in the water and yeah, no start on the second one. You want to check it out? Oh, yeah, it looks good. Oh, yeah. Camera. Anything I can do with it. Did you? <laughs> Where's the other potato? What other one? I took out four potatoes. Hmm? All right, hey. <laughs> exactly. I'll get back exactly. There. <laughs> nice oh. try. Whoop, my bad. No, I was just comparing it to the other one. <laughs> I forgot it was back there. I'm about done with it, though, for real. You, know? you would have been done if you didn't pull that little stunt. Well, you know, hey, you got to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. mm. If you take it and start from the bottom and work your way all the way to the top. That's what I was going to do. I was waiting on you to see if you already knew. <laughs> I just was trying to embarrass you. <laughs> All right. I got probably like one more scrape left on this bad boy. Y'all tell me what y'all think. You think I'm doing a good job? You think I need to start cooking? Or do I need to leave that shit alone? No, I'm going to learn. One of these. Not this year. This year about over with. All right. They're done, ain't eh? No. I thought you got to have some brown on that. No, you gotta cut all the brown off. Unless you was making wedges. Making some wedges. 
I thought you called it wet some wedges. No, we put potato wedges. Oh, potato wedges. Damn, but Damn. I'm glad I don't be cooking. Man. All right, let's see what we looking like. I'm going to uh, edit this video because they're going to be too long to be peeling this thing. I ain't finna be tripping off of me. Okay. So, this is what you want them to look like. Basically, my preference on fish. All right. So, it's ready to come out. You ain't getting popped by the grease, is you? Nope. Okay, you've been doing this a while. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so, then... You want to drain it. I always put like paper towels down so you can drain your fish out. Mm. You don't want no greasy fish. But like once the fish is done, you won't get popped for real. That's how you know it's doing too when it's not outrageously popping. Pop like and drop it then. I'm just stand back because you like you finna drop that. Okay. What we're going to with it now? I'm gonna stick that up there. Alright. Hold those. And then I'm gonna put this last batch, which is the last two pieces of fish in. Oh, it didn't quiet down over there. Continue. Uh oh. I think, I, I know what they want to see. Let me put it in there. Okay. Let me do it. Why does it look like seasoning salt? It got seasoning salt in it. Mm. But it's fish fry. So wet. It's mixed with like cornmeal and stuff. Let me drop it in there. If I run, you think it's going to splash out? No, I'm gonna with it. Wow, you think I'd be, you don't think I'd do this? <laughs> okay. What you gonna do with the leftovers? Throw it away. I think I seen some dogs outside. They might want, you know. No. Oh, a dog can't eat that. Right, <laughs> what we got going on at the table over there? That's what the table. What we got going on at the table? Oh, we got. I had some potatoes. Some I already cut up. Yeah, I did that. I'm gonna cut some more up. <laughs> nah, I did those. <laughs> I'm gonna cut some more up now. Also, I cut the potatoes up Damn. and I put them in a bowl by themselves, like without water, to let them dry out because you don't want the grease splashing you once you um put the fries in there. All right. So. I already preheated my grease. It's already heating up. And I tend to put the grease on medium heat. Medium high. Close to high, but not, not exactly high, like an eight or nine. And the potatoes, you want to cut down the middle. Mm. Into like, I like my fries kind of like thick, but not too thick. So you like them long and skinny? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. So silly. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Okay. Damn, you broke that down real fast. You used to be a drug dealer. <laughs> no. No. I just know my way around a knife or a kitchen. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Right. But it all depends on your preference. How you like your fries. If you like them thicker, like them skinnier, long, short. With the skin on, because you can leave the skin on your potatoes and make them like potato wedge like. But what you do is cut your potato down. I always put my hand on top of the knife so I don't cut myself. And Ooh, you cut straight down. I got an idea. Let me do that last one. Okay. This one? Yeah. All right. Let me get it. You lay this part of the potato flat down. Be your best bet and cut into rows. Turn them sideways. Cut 
cut it in. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Mm. Yeah, how you do that? You wanna, there you go. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Ah. Ah. I want mine short and sweet. <laughs> He's trying to make potato chips. Okay, and then you can. Oh, that's it? So I need to cut one more? You can cut that in half down a little. A little bit over to the right. Mm hmm. Oh! <laughs> right. Okay, so now we got the fries all cut up. And we're going to put them in the hot grease. Hopefully, it's ready. Why are you looking like that? That wind outside. I drop them in a few at a time. Oh, don't be scared. You're gonna get that. Cause this is the most dangerous. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple steps back. <laughs> Let you do your thing. Dump the whole thing in there. No, you can't dump the whole thing in. Why not? They're gonna cook it. Because when you put something in there, the grease rises. And you see how, like, it's boiling up. Oh, it kind of like it, when you stop up the toilet and it rises all the water up. <laughs> yeah, not literally speaking of that stuff that you be doing. Nah, dog. I think that's good enough. Okay, so this is how we like our fries in this house. Like a golden brown. Like I say, it depends on the preference because some people don't even like their fries all the way done. But that's up to you how you want your fries. And we eat ours with seasoning salt and ketchup. That's what I put on my fries. Mmm, that look good. I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> so, just some good seasoning salt. Not a lot, because you still gotta put some on the other one. Don't go crazy with it. Yeah, I always put them on by layers. Like the first layer, I put some seasoning salt, then the second, then the third. And this is like three batches of fries, so this is the last. So, this is the finished product the tilapia and french fry. Fish platter. Oh, you just have a brain fart. You're like, tilapia. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say next. Oh, okay. But that's what it'll look like. Yours might look a little different depending on your preference, but we're about to dig in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 